Do you ever have arguments with your friends about sports? Because we do. Let's grind down on that. Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you to another episode of The Daily Grind. My name is Joe with Vision Network. I'm here with Cameron, Zach, and Brandon. What's up, guys? What up? What's good? What up? Oh. What are we going to be talking about oh. today? Oh. Well, um, as they could already tell by the intro, we're going to talk about sports. Hopefully, they heard what I was saying in my southern slang. Yes, football, football. Baseball, basketball, anything you consider a sport or anyone else, whatever. Don't Who cares? say soccer because other um, people get angry. Yeah, some people apparently. American I, football and then football. Yeah, there you go. American football and then we have the football, which football. is soccer. Um, our, I think the only person that actually knows a lot about here are, is Zach, but apparently he didn't know who the quarterback uh, is. Thanks, was. Cameron. I, I it's not of, like I watch football okay. or anything. Virus is also I, I kind of forgot a little bit. I, I forgot a quarterback for a second. I'm sorry. Who's God. your quarterback for Dallas? Uh, I, don't, I, don't Manning? Manning? I don't know about Manning. I don't know about Was he like, is it Drew Bledsoe? No. no he <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, who is the quarterback for the Patriots? Because we were in a call about this the other day. He's like, who is that? I'm like, really? Well, I knew everyone Phil on Sims? the screen. I knew everyone on the screen except for one. Um, Seriously, is my is my camera crashing right now? No, you're, no. Good. you're good. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Um. Anyways, guys. On so, screen. yeah. So basically, sports. What's going on? Um. Obviously, the season is pretty much over. There's only um the Super Bowl left, um and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you guys have a lot of questions, a lot of things about that and how we kind of view our our sports. Obviously, I live in Minnesota, so my home team is the Minnesota Vikings. They didn't do very well. I mean, they did for – they did, I, in my opinion, they did very well on um, on how well, like, on what they had um, working with. So basically, they started off the season with a lot of rookies. They started off with a rookie quarterback. They started off with almost a whole rookie offense, except, you know, given the fact that there was um, the offensive line, you know, had a few players. Other than that, I mean, they pretty much had a team that was just, you know, all built off of a couple, you know, a lot of rookies. But anyways, um, I do feel that Teddy Bridgewater in the next um, few seasons or possibly next season be could become a very, very, very good target for um, Minnesota because, um, you know, they – He's he started out the season very well. He carried it out just like I thought he would. I mean, you can't rely on a quarterback for literally everything. You have to realize that, you know, there's wide receivers obviously and stuff like that. Running backs to score touchdowns and everybody when you know when when people really look at it, they they always rely on a quarterback for almost everything. Yeah. Um but like I said, um Minnesota's actually not one of my favorite teams. Um, I'm not really a team kind of guy. I don't. I mean, if I had to go with one, it'd probably be the Seahawks. Um, but anyways, I'm more of like a team or a player fan. Um, I really love specific players as much as everybody in my state, as well as I mean, maybe some, maybe these guys in the call right now hate Green Bay. I don't really hate them. I, I think like that. I think that Aaron Rodgers is an amazing quarterback. There's actually debates between him being the best um, quarterback um, this last season. Um, yeah, he's in the running for MVP. Yeah. Um, but Joe over here, his Cowboys are on the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah they're, they're doing exceptionally well. Um, I, I, Sorry. I'm ecstatic <laughs> as to how they're doing this season so far. Um, as many of you know, we are headed to Green Bay to play in what they're – uh, what are they billing it as the uh, the second ice bowl or something like that? Yeah, something remember. like that. Or, actually, I heard somebody else, one of the uh, news people, had uh, also mentioned somebody was calling it the uh, the the showdown in in the what do they call it Timber T Timberland up there I or think something? So. I, for, I, I forget what they were. Anyway, they'll I'm sure they'll have a nickname for it. For, uh, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. By, by the by the day, oh. uh, by game day. But it, it's supposed to be downright cold. And you know our Cowboys, you know, they are not used to playing in inclement weather. They're used to playing in indoors in a controlled climate. Um, so that's definitely going to be different for the Cowboys. Um, as far as the teams matching up goes, um, 
I feel like it's it's a very evenly matched game. I think that um, the team that manages the clock the best with the least amount of turnovers will win the game. Uh, uh, you know, Tony Romo hasn't thrown any interceptions in the month of uh, December. Well, let's see. I take it back. I think he threw – no, I don't think he's thrown one interception in the month of December. And now that we're into January also, he's got the highest quarterback rating in the NFL – um, as far as the month of December goes. And now we're coming off of a really um, a tough win from uh, Detroit. So, yeah, it's going to be a really good game. I'm, I'm a little nervous about it because the Packers, uh, they're a really good team, and we're definitely going to have to bring our A game for sure. And yeah. they are 8-0 at home, by the way. Yes, and we are 8-0 on the road. That so is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough matchup. Some, something's got to give there. There, you know, there. Obviously, there's not going to be a tie. I'm pretty sure there's, about that. No, now, I have now, actually. Uh, a oh, one, one more thing. Now, for those of you who are not uh, really well educated on how the playoff system works, um, I'm one of them. If we if we win, these are both NFC teams: the Green yeah. Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. If we win, or whatever team wins this Sunday uh, in that matchup. They will go on to play um, in the NFC championship game that will determine who is going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Um, of the teams that could possibly be in the NFC championship game, um, that could be uh, – help me out there, Zach. I'm, I forget. I'm drawing a blank for the two teams that are up le uh, left that are – there's two other teams that are playing – simultaneously um, for the same uh, weekend. It's I think the, yeah, you have the Detroit, well, obviously. Se Detroit. Seattle Seahawks. Yep, Seattle, Seattle Seahawks, Seahawks and Panthers. And the, uh, the Ravens, the Ravens, Ravens. Baltimore yeah. Ravens. Those yes. two teams are going to play one another. The winner of that, that game and the winner of our game with the Packers and the Cowboys will face each other <laughs> in the NFC yep. Championship. And, they, and then, of course, from there, go to the Super Bowl. So there right. are three games away from, or two games away from reaching the Super Bowl right now. Yep. Um, which I'm actually really excited about. But anyways, um, going back to the Vikings real quick, for people who are kind of um, iffy about this, and pe there are going to be people that are watching this video that are kind of that are, that are really, really, really against child abuse. Um, that huge child abuse case against Adrian Peterson. I'm not going to start a fight with that because there's just no point. It's too far gone. Um, but my question is: is do you guys think that, or do you guys think? Obviously, the people that are watching this video and in the call as well, you guys think he'll be coming back this next year? Honestly, I hope so. Or Peterson's awesome. Or do you think he'll be going back down to the Texas to play for the? Um... <clears throat> Why can't I think of it right now? <laughs> the Houston Texans? Yes, yes. Um, are they going back down home, or do you think he's gonna stay here? And, and uh, another thing is, in my opinion. The Minnesota Vikings are a very, very touch-and-go team. They can be very good in terms of who they play, but at the same time, they, they lost against Miami. But they only lost by a safety, which is, I mean, it's it's cr some of the yeah. crazy play calling is just, oh, my God. That's how but, the Giants are, man. Like, being a Giants I, fan, it's tough. <laughs> oh, yeah, it they, is. It's Elon Manning's a great quarterback. It's just some some plays that happen, you know, it's they don't really get it right. So we should include um, Cameron. What about you in college football, man? I see with, with with me in college football. Yeah, like he's saying, since I live in Alabama, ever since I was little, uh, my grandfather on my dad's side actually that was his favorite team. So I'm always stuck with him. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a hardcore fan because you know if Auburn's playing someone I don't like, I'll go for them. Or you, people hate me for this, but I do like Tennessee. They are a good team. Uh, LSU, they're also good. I'm LSU. going to. Going to your uh, your question that you're asking us and the people out there, um, I'm going to say this. Whatever team he played for before all this happened, I think he should go back to them because with this happening, they're, remember, they're up in the north. People in the south, they, they that's just normal. You know, people do that. But, yeah. you know, that he should go back to whatever team he was playing on before because it's just silly. I don't remember who he played for before the Vikings. He's been there so long. Yeah. Uh, but I, I honestly, I think that uh, Adrian, Peter, Adrian Peterson may consider retiring. He's been in the league a long time. He's getting old for a running back. Matter of fact, he's um, already old for a running back. Um, 
There's actually rumors about him becoming a real estate agent. Um, which is kind of crazy. There's a lot of people, you know, there was a lot of rumors. And actually, it was on a news channel. Um, a few news channels, a local, some local news channels down here. Um, and it, it was just a whole heated thing. And at some point, I was like, you know what? I really don't feel like listening to this anymore. But at the same time, I want my AP back. <laughs> you know, I I used to win. I used to win a lot of I win a lot of fantasy leagues with him on my team a long time ago and you know he was he was a really good quarterback um but there's another quarterback that I'm sure a lot of people will remember um Fran Tarkington yeah um, he, he was a really 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 good quarterback um yeah. I mean I I wasn't alive or yeah I wasn't alive when you know he was coaching or not coaching what the hell am i saying quarterback when he was when he, when he was quarterbacking the fight vikings and all that and bringing them to you know wins and losses and stuff like that but i was uh, yeah joe <laughs> here was um but yeah i mean marshawn lynch there's one actually one player that i'm really into right now and that's calvin johnson jr he's a megatron as people like to call him he's a beastly player i watched a few um documentaries and stuff like that on him and like when you when you really look at it, it's 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 kind of sad actually because when they get in the NFL, I mean, I feel that football players don't really try anymore. I mean, they try, but at the same time, they don't because it's like you. I literally watched. Okay, they're making. When you go really back is. to it, when you go back to it, I watched Minnesota and um um, uh, Missouri, Missouri in the Citrus Bowl, and. I was watching that, and I'm watching these college ki college kids literally smack pads. And then when you look at it, these freaking, like, you, these football players are like, okay, you want to go to bed? All right, here you go. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, you know, you got to really think about it. NFL players, you know, they're making their millions. They're set for now. You know, they don't really have to try as hard as they were when they were playing in college to get to the NFL. These kids in college, they're working their, like, asses off to get to the actual NFL. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, sure. I have a question. Who do you guys yes. want to see in the Super Bowl? And who do you want to win it? Honestly, I know it's not going to be a big of a... It's already kind of made up and everything like that. But if I really had to choose, I'd choose the Buffalo Bills. Honestly, right now, I think it's going to be Green Bay and Seahawks. Which Buffalo would be Bills great. Buffalo Bills are not in the running for the Super Bowl. I, I know that. I know that. But I, I'm I, just saying, I, if I really had to choose any team... Uh, uh, but yeah, I think Green Bay and Seahawks, and I feel like Seahawks are going to win again. So I can pick any team, right? Well, I'm saying the people that are in the playoffs right now. Oh. Which is um, Patriots, Cowboys, uh, the Ravens, uh, Broncos. Uh, is, are the Panthers in? I I, I don't know. No. No, not I, the Panthers. Green I, Bay I, and Seahawks. I think uh, Seahawks could get it. Honestly. But honestly, Brandon, oh, yeah. if I really, like, like, like Brandon here said, if, you know, if, choose one if we really if we really had to choose one team that was actually you know that's in the running now i would choose the seahawks yeah here's the so. lineup sorry to cut you off it's uh ravens and patriots which are going to be facing then panthers and seahawks and obviously for those of you who don't watch football whoever wins the patriots and raven games and whoever wins the panthers and seahawks games those two teams will face each other and then you got cowboys and packers colts and broncos and whoever wins those two games face each other and, and whoever wins the those one. goes to the Super Bowl. And I yeah. really you know, think it's going to be Seahawks you, and Packers, and I think the Seahawks are going to win again. Oh, yeah. you, know, you, you know what's kind of iffy, though, is that I feel like, um, don't get me wrong on this, don't sit there and laugh at me, but oh, well. Cam Newton's a Carolina, yeah, he's, um, Cam yeah. Newton, he's, uh, I, I really have a strong feeling he might just pull a win out of his butt. You never know. I mean, he's a really good quarterback. Oh yeah, he's a he's an amazing oh, quarterback. Great. I feel. Uh, I don't I don't feel like that the Panthers are really that good of a team. I I, I agree that that Cam Newton is a good quarterback. But I believe overall, he's a very talented not. athlete. But I don't think that they have. Um, I don't believe that they have uh, the uh, the talent this year. Yeah. On the best day to compete with. Uh, with the top seeded teams, yeah. and I think it's Dallas. I don't. Oh, hold on. So, they, Cam, so Cam Newton is for Cam the Panthers, right? Yeah. Yes. I thought it was for the Seahawks. No, no Mar Seahawks uh, Russell. Is, uh, Russell, and, Russell and as Wilson. for the as for the Seahawks goes, um, I don't really I don't really feel like they're that good of a team uh, 
this year either. I, I think that they're a little overrated. I think that um, a lot of people are quick to assume that, that uh, they're Super Bowl contenders. Just because they just because, won. Because they won last year, and it's a Cinderella story. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to – well, a lot of people always want to see a repeat because that's fascinating. Then a lot of people don't want to see a repeat because it's just like – with the Steelers, you know, they, they've got six Super Bowls, so nobody wants to see them get to seven before they get to, you know, five or six, like with the Cowboys. Yeah. You know, we've got five Super Bowls, they've got six. I want to see us win our sixth one before they run their seventh one. Yeah. So we can, you know, but yeah. it's so nobody, like guys like me, I don't want to see a repeat. I don't want to see the Seahawks repeat. Yeah. And another thing is the Cowboys, <laughs> yeah. uh, the Cowboys laid it on them earlier this year, put a real, real spanking on them. And everybody thought that the Seahawks were, you know, the team to beat and everything. And the Cowboys were still in that. It was still early in the season. And everybody was like, oh, the Cowboys, are they for real? They got a few wins under their belt. But they're going to crumble like they always do. Went into Seattle, where they were undefeated at home for like 20-some-odd games and spanked that ass. <laughs> okay? And so here we are. Uh, it's getting down to the wire, you know. And, they're, and everybody's like... Uh, could be the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. I think not. I don't think that's happening. That's, I that's, think it'll be. I think it, New England or or uh, or Denver will will get there um, for sure. One of those two teams. And then when it comes to our side over here in the NFC, um, I'm I'm still thinking if it's not us, it's going to be the Packers. I, I actually like the, my there's... personal opinion. I want the Packers to win it. I like the Packers. Honestly, right. they should. Like you said, Joe, you, you didn't want to see a repeat, and I agree with that. That's kind of the reason why I said the Buffalo Bills, and they honestly right now have one of the best uh, best run defense games in the in or run. Pa- Sorry, but their starting quarterback just retired, Kyle Lorton. Yes, I know that. So <laughs> I really have <laughs> they've got some it. issues to deal with before we address anything else. There is no driver at the wheel. Yes, I realize this, but. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't and mean need to I be... Min- and need I mention, though, that um, Kyle Orton was our 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 uh, backup quarterback, and then he announced that he, like, there was some kind of deal with his contract or whatever, you know, and, we're, and Jerry Jones and them were going to, like, offer him the money, and then he just, like, no thanks, I'm retiring. And then, like, two weeks later, he gets picked up by the Bills, and we were like, what the hell just happened? Did he, like... <laughs> plan that and i think that he did so a lot of people were saying like when he announced his retirement from the bills would the same thing happen but he quote he's quoted as saying there's nothing you can do to change my mind i am absolutely you know retiring yeah. but i well, thought he was a what, soft quarterback you know that's what brett Favre said and he come but he came back like three or four times before yeah. he finally said quits yeah yeah Oh, he yeah, it definitely wouldn't be the first time that a that a player is announced their retirement and then come back. I mean, hell, even Michael Jordan's done it. I mean, oh I, yeah. I don't want to be mean to Joe, but I, I don't. I know you're a Cowboys fan. I'm a Giants fan, and you know that's that's a. It's that's in your a, blood to hate the Cowboys. Yeah, that's. I'm. I really hope they don't make it <laughs> to any further. Not to be rude. It just... would be one of those Cinderella stories if we do, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. So many people doubting us earlier in the year, you know. Um, I mean, I could list all ton- tons of reasons why that would be great. Um, yeah. But I'm also a realist, you know. And in and, and reality of it is, there is a there is some really good stock in NFL right now oh, as yeah. far as teams go. And so... I'm just crossing my fingers every every down, every play that happens. I'm just crossing my fingers, oh. uh, hoping that we get through the next one. You know, the the Lions uh, was a hell of a game. Um, we got through that one. There's some controversy there. I don't want to get into that. But um, when it comes to the Packers and the other teams that are left in front of us right now, um, you know, I, I believe on our very best day, I think that we are as good – of a team as anyone right now but we are also uh any team is capable of crumbling too at the at the when the pressure is on so we'll just have to see how it goes right. one yeah. more thing before we uh head off guys is that like i said in the beginning um yes i, I i'm sort of a seahawks fan but 
like I told you, the only the only I just thought about it is the only reason as to why I probably like the Seahawks is because I I enjoy watching Doug Baldwin play the one of the wide receivers, and mm-hmm. I love watching Marshawn Lynch just Marshawn destroy. Marshawn Lynch is a monster. I love yeah, watching him he's destroy. A monster. Even um, Seahawks quarterback, he's just. Oh my God! Yeah, I mean incredible. that's one thing about is is the new days. Like when you really think about it, the 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 in the day kind of like. The, these newer quarterbacks like Teddy Bridgewater, you know, I feel that for the Minnesota, he's going to be a very, very give him time to develop what he's got. But yeah. he's good. He's going to be a very, very, very well developed mobile quarterback, and I feel like he's going to be very well for the Vikings. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, guys, we're gonna have to cut it short here. I know you guys want to talk. Uh, most of this <laughs> chat was all about me shutting up and you guys talking because I know nothing <laughs> about sports. I'm only here for some hey, college man, stuff. Hey, man, you got your Roll Tide prime um, there's out there, a few yeah. we ask, Roll there's a few, Tide. There's a few things we ask if you just put uh, – it's kind of who put – who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Put down in the comments as well. Um, some Who's of your our favorite names. team, your favorite players, yep. you know? Roll Based Tide. to us. <laughs> roll Tide. <laughs> roll Tide. Okay. And Anyways, also, guys, we're going to have something as well for the people who will have gadgets because we know the people that don't really watch sports are missing out on you know, the daily grind. We might have some gadgets here and there. Just check description. We might have some stuff. Uh, you guys want to say anything before we sign off? Roll time. Uh, you know, just basically, <laughs> basically enjoy the rest of the season. I hope next season is pretty good. I'm really excited for that, and I'm really kind of yeah. sad the season's over. Hope you guys' teams do yeah. good next season. You know, yep. good luck hey, to all teams I, out there. Why not? Why not have a another daily grind about you know like when we get closer to the Super Bowl or maybe a oh, Super yeah. Bowl Even special. Even when the season starts. Yeah, and there there'll be plenty to talk about after the Super Bowl as well about you know how it unfolded. And let me tell you, when college football season starts, I'm gonna be yapping your guys' ears off. It's oh <laughs> it's yeah, talk happen, about man. that damn playoff they got. Hell yeah, <gasps> roll tide! All right, guys, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. And remember, next video we're eating Zach's cat. You remember, roll tide. <laughs>